All right, all right. So in this video, we are going to discuss something that's pretty cool. And I think that's going to be, that's actually leading us towards the future. All right. So imagine that you're out at a signing or you're speaking to one of your clients and, or you're at a networking event, right? And then you start discussing things about the market and you, and you think to yourself, man, that'd be cool if I could, if I could post this on social media right now. Right. But you're, you're, you're at an event, so you can't do it. So imagine you say, okay, you, you excuse yourself and you begin to record the, your thoughts on your phone and then you hit okay. And then that automatically sends and creates a viral post on Instagram, for example. Well, with make, we can actually do that. Okay. So I um, already mapped out a scenario that don't worry, we'll go, I'll, I'll show you exactly how to do this and um, let's go into it real quick. So, all right. So I'm using Slack as my trigger. Um, Slack is what I'll be using to record the audio. Um, but you can use anything, anything that records the audio. So another uh, good example would be um, you can record on like Google Drive, for example, because I know Make um, has a connection with Google Drive and they have a ton of other connections, but Slack is just the easiest to use right now. And then we'll, we'll use Slack. Okay. So the way this, um, the scenario works is uh, you record the audio on your, on your, on your phone or a mobile device. Then we download that audio. Then we transcribe the audio. Then we take whatever gibberish and audio that you said, and then we make sense out of it so that we can plug it into per perplexity, perplexity will then analyze what you said, um, and do some research on it. So we'll, we'll, we'll search the web for and, and fact check what you said and, um, summarize it for you and, and give you all the data, the raw data with that. Once that's done, then we can use the, the, the research that perplexity, um, is completed and create a post for Instagram, right? So the context of the post, once that's done, then we can, um, create an image based off of the post, right? And then we could take all of that information and we could throw it into Airtable. If you don't know what Airtable is, Airtable is basically a glorified Excel spreadsheet. Okay. And it's actually pretty powerful. I'm, I'm downplaying it a little bit. So once we put the information into Airtable and the reason that we're putting it into Airtable is so that we can kind of take a visual look at it before we, we give it the green light so that it posts directly into, um, into your Instagram in this example, uh, you could, you could send it directly into Instagram if you like, but I, but what I'm learning with um, this automation and um, um, open AI is that sometimes it's like 80% right. And is that 20% um, is that 20% that sometimes it's not exactly how you want it. So um, until you're comfortable, then you could throw it right onto IG and I've been doing that and I'm like kind of scaling back a little bit now, but um, so Airtable is a good um, resting place for it, for you to actually physically go in there and look at it. And again, Airtable is something that you can put on your phone so that you can look and approve it right away. So once this process, once this um, um, scenario is finished, then we go to the second part, which is here. So the information is in Airtable and Airtable is, is, is this trigger right with Airtable is waiting for you to give it the green light and then it'll post it right into Instagram. Okay. Um, if you take the course or if you are part of the course, um, you automatically have access to it, to this uh, scenario. So you don't have to manually do this. Um, and I'll, again, I'll show you how to do it manually, but if you click this button here, you'll be able to import the blueprint, blueprint, this blueprint right into your, um, your make account and you'll be ready to rock and roll. The only thing you have to do is obviously connect your Slack account, connect your open AI account and perplexity account, your table, et cetera. Um, but then other than that, you don't have to do anything like this if you are taking the AI automations course. Okay. All right. But let's, let's go ahead and let's start and let's build this scenario from scratch. All right. So the first thing we need to do is set our trigger. Whenever we have a, any, um, scenario that we're building out, we have to have a trigger. Uh, the trigger is, uh, allows, um, make to know what's going to set, what's going to activate this scenario. Okay. In this particular case, it's us recording an audio on with Slack. So we got to open up, we got to connect Slack and again, Slack is free for you to use. Um, you create a Slack account and then you can create different channels on there. And once you create the channels on there, then you can use it and connect it to make. Okay. So in this particular case, what we're doing is we're watching for a private channel and I've already created a list here. I created, Oh, sorry. We selected from a list and then from the private channel, I, I have thought automations and what we'll do is I'll just, uh, leave the limit to one and hit. Okay. Okay. So that's the first step. 
all right so once we once we once we record the audio on on our device the next thing we need to do is we need to download that audio okay so we go back into slack and we want to say download a file all right so we want to download a file and it's looking for a url private download so it's looking for the url for the private download link in slack so once you click on this it's going to pull from the trigger and what we want to do is go to files and url private download all right we click on that hit okay all right so let's hit save and what we want to do is we want to test it okay so whenever you and it's actually best practice just to keep everything copacetic we're going to say download audio okay cool all right so let's save that and let's record the audio all right so i'm going to open up slack on my phone and i'm going to record it audio clip and i'm gonna say hey this is a test 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 one two three test 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 one two three awesome so i sent that and what you want to do is we can run it once oops i present fail download fail one parameter what am i missing let's let's see what's going on what am i saying just slack connection it'll play oh i mean maybe I, Sometimes if I did it, if I did, if I recorded the audio too fast, I didn't give I didn't give Slack enough time to pull the audio. So if I run it one more time, it should work. Oops, or am I proving myself wrong here? Uh, missing required URL. Hmm. Automation thoughts like from list. Boom boom boom. Maybe let's hit two. All right. So let's run this module only. Did it pull it? Okay. And now let's run it all together. Let's see. There we go. All right. <laughs> I think I was going too fast there, right? So now if we go here, oops, we'll be able to see that it pulled the audio file. Okay. And I want to change this actually back to one. So we're not pulling too much at once. Hit OK. Let's hit save. And let's go to the next step. All right. So the next step, what we need to do is we need to transcribe the audio. Okay. So first step, we record the audio on our phone. The second step is we pull that recording from um, from Slack into Make. And now what we need to do is use OpenAI. Um, we're gonna use OpenAI to transcribe that audio. Okay, so let's say open, OpenAI. And OpenAI has um, so uh, Whisper, right? So Whisper is the technology that's used within OpenAI to, to transcribe audio, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna transcribe, transcribe audio to text. Okay, and it's, what's cool is that it's, uh, it automatically connect to um, to Slack, and it's gonna download that file. Okay, and the prompt is what we want to say is we want to say transcribe the transcribe this word for word. Okay, uh, we hit OK, and we're gonna change this to rename. Oops my fault so we gotta say uh to rename we're gonna say transcribe audio okay hit okay all right let's hit save and what we need to do now if you run it once it should pull the last scenario <laughs> okay so it'll pull what i did last test 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 one two three test 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 one two three okay so we see what i what i transcribed recently and it pulled it right there cool all right so now that we transcribed the audio right so we basically said whatever we thought in our mind and um we said whatever we thought in our mind but that may not necessarily make sense to perplexity okay so for perplexity what we want to do is we want to kind of format it in a way that perplex perplexity understands that what we said and so that way it can do proper research okay so what we're going to do is we're going to use um, OpenAI again. And what we're going to do is we want to do a create a completion, right? Create a completion. All right. So once you create a or once we create a completion, we want to use um, the different the model we want to use in this case is um, we're going to use GPT 3.5 turbo. Um, the reason we don't want to use four or, or four uh, four turbo is because um, it's a little bit more expensive and to save money um, on your um, on your usage. Because remember, with, with chat with OpenAI, you have to you know, pay you have to pay for it. 
pay for every usage. So to, to reduce that cost and to save money, we we use Chat uh, GPT three five Turbo. Okay, and when whenever you use Chat GPT three five Turbo, you have to put tokens. I usually put like a five hundred. That's usually more than enough to cover what we need to do. Um, as far as messages, I have a prompt that I would like to use um, for the content here, and I'm gonna just copy and paste it here. All right, and I'll read it out to you. All right. So basically, what we're saying here is that uh, you know you're an AI you're an AI agent tasked to creating a tasked to creating a clear and concise prompt for perplexity AI. Your input will be to transcribe to transcribe to be the will be the transcription <laughs> of a voice memo discussing a specific topic. Your job is to analyze the transcript and generate a prompt that will instruct perplexity AI to, to search the web and gather the top five most recent facts, insights and updates related to the main topic of the voice memo. We can we only want updates or news that is new. You will you will provide one or two key um, search terms such as Elon Musk or, or SpaceX to find the most um, up-to-date news and it goes on and on. And again, um, this prompt here. So only thing that we had to add at the end is we want to add the text. Okay. So if we go in here and the text that we want is the, the actual transcription, right? So we go into transcription, add the text and that's good. And we're good to go there. Uh, as far as the role, this is a user role. Um, the difference between the, the, the user role is, is um, us as a user prompting chat or GPT on what to do. Okay. All right. So we hit okay. And what we want to do here is we want to change this to, we're going to rename it. We're going to call it perplexity prep. So what we're doing is we're prepping perplexity on the input that it needs you know, to do the research. Okay. So let's hit save and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, um, record another audio. So in this case, let's see what we can ask them about um, something random. Okay, so let's record an audio clip. Um, I'm thinking about Elon Musk and I'm thinking about why um, what recently, why he had a mass firing of, of a lot of his, uh, his agents. Um, I heard something about that chatter. Can you just um, do some research for me, please? All right, so um, I just um, did that recording and let's see, let's run it once and let's see what happens. Okay, let's see what it did here. Uh, oops. What did it pull here? It didn't pull what I asked for. All right, let's just run it one more time. I think if I when I when you play the scenario too quickly, it doesn't pull the audio right away. Let's just go back here and let's try it one more time. Give it a few seconds. There we go. All right. All right. So what I said in the test, I'm thinking about Elon Musk and I'm thinking about re I think about recently why he had a mass firing of a lot of his agents. I heard something about th that chatter. Can you do some research for me, please? Let's see what it says. Okay. And the results that I'm, I have searched the web for the top five facts and updates regarding Elon Musk's recent mass firing of agents. Okay. So that's pretty cool. All right, so let's see the next thing here. So now that we have this data, um, or we have a, a preparation for perplexity AI, what we need to do next is we need to actually load perplexity AI, okay? All right, let me set the next thing here, perplexity AI. Perplexity AI, we are going to create a chat completion, chat completion, okay? And uh, for perplexity AI, what we want to do here is this is the latest uh, sonar medium one. But what we're going to do is we just going to do the minstrel, minstrel 8x7b instruct. Okay. 
So what we want to do here is first we want to get the results from um, this is collapse all. We want to get the results from the perplex perplexity prep <laughs> perplexity prep, right? We're going to get the results here and then um, then we want to add this a little bit. Just we want to make sure that perplexity gets the latest news. We, want, we don't want to get news that was a year or two old. We want to get something that's pretty recent. So this is what we're going to add here to it. All right. Just give me a second here. All right. The news, uh, let's close this here so we can read it. Um, the news must have been released in the last seven days. You must not hallucinate or embellish content. If five insights do not exist, then only provide those you can. Your job is to present clear, clearly articulated facts with data if possible. The role again in this case is a user, okay? Um, we hit okay. And it should be able to pull from the last, from the last one about Elon Musk. Let's hit run once. Oops, or didn't let's save. Okay, good. So it's up to date. All right, so let's let's try to run it again. Let's record an audio clip. Hey, so I heard recent chatter about Elon Musk firing a huge amount of his staff. Um, can you just provide a little bit more information about that? I, I want to um, post something on Instagram. Get that. So I put it up on, um, on, on my Slack channel. Let's hit run once and let's see what happens. All right. So I found it. Let's see the task. Let's see what it said. Hey, so I heard recent chatter about Elon Musk firing a huge amount of his staff. Can you just provide a little bit more information about that? I want to post something on Instagram. All right. And then perplexity AI pulled that and says, um, search for the web of the top five most recent updates on Elon Musk firing a, a significant number of his staff. Okay. So it summarized what I said and it, it kind of made it clear so that perplexity AI can get it. And then it's this, this pull here. Let's see what, let's see what it came back with. Let's go into uh, output. Let's go into, uh, sorry, choices one. And let's go into messages, content. And here's what it pulled. Look at this. All right. So it says after searching the web for the most recent updates on Elon Musk and staff um, reductions, here are the top five results from reputable sources in the last seven days. That's what I was talking about. With, uh, <laughs> that's what I was talking about with OpenAI. We told them the last seven days and it still pulled something from last year. Right. So it says on May 31st, 2023. It says something about SpaceX on May 26th, 2023, the information that came back on May 24th, 2023, but it's at 2023, we're in 2024 and it's pulling results from May of last year. Okay. So that's one thing. That's why we put the, this information on open table. So that way it doesn't just post this and put it on and put it on the, um, put it on the web without having some facts about it. Right. Um, so that's, that's, I'm, I'm glad that it's actually happened because that's what happens in, in the real world scenario. So you may say something and it may not be accurately correct. And that's why you want to put it in, um, a, some kind of medium where you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down without having to post it because you don't want to post like bad information out there. Right. But let's just continue with the process and excuse me, we'll, 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 uh, try to figure out something else that is a little bit more, more relevant. Although I did hear something about Elon Musk, it could have been, it could have been false information. It could have been information that wasn't true, but I heard that Elon Musk recently fired a huge amount of his staff and it, it had to do with, um, um, the, the Tesla cars, the Tesla, um, the, no, I'm sorry, the batteries. So like the charging station, something with the charging stations where Elon Musk fired that entire team and, um, the Biden administration, um, gave, uh, Elon Musk, a bunch of money towards that initiative towards going green. And then the whole thing went thing. So I heard something about it in the news, but so maybe it's, I don't know, but let's, uh, let's continue <laughs> for the purpose of this exercise. Let's continue. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is after, after we have, um, after we got our information from perplexity, we need to prepare Instagram, right? So the first thing we need to do is we create a post. All right. All right. So let's uh, create a post. So the first thing we need to do is again, open, open AI. And what we're going to do is we want to message an assistant 
message an assistant. All right. So the difference between, um, uh, I'll show you this in the next, in the next, um, form, but, uh, an assistant is basically instructions that you, that you let open AI know. Um, and it's created by an assistant in, in the open AI platform. And I showed this in one of my earlier videos is you give an instructions that's going to be, that can be used for any, in any scenario. Okay. Whereas the instructions that we were giving for the perplex perplexity plat, I can't say that perplexity prep were specific instructions for that. So that's more of a prompt. This is more of an assistant where an assistant is like basically a bot, a robot that does what you exactly what you command it to do every time. Okay. Um, so what we need to do is we need to go into the messages. Let's just go here. All right. So let's just copy this and I'll show you what I put here. All right. So what I, what I wrote here is, um, you'll be provided with a research and you'll be, you'll be provided with research and transcription by a user. Um, make a highly viral post as your prompt using the additional research as context or help where you find it appropriate. Only single emojis because because for some reason, open AI loves to use double and triple emojis, right? So we're going to say transcript. Right. And then we're going to also need uh, insight, right? Cause the insight is what we, we got from perplexity AI. So while we here on insight, let's just collapse everything. The insight, it will be what, what we, the results that we got from open AI. I'm sorry, from perplexity. So we go to, again, we go to choices and then we go to messages and then we go to content, right? The transcription is, um, uh, audio transcript, right? So let's go back here and we need to go to the transcribe audio and the text, right? The text is what, was, what I, what I said on my phone and it, uh, that was transcribed. Okay. And the insights. So what's, what's, what, what this is doing is it's going to take, um, what we transcribe the, the research, what I transcribe in the research and it's going to make a viral post with that. Okay. An assistant that we have is the Instagram bot. Right. If you go to Instagram bot, we'll go here. And in the course, I have a list of different prompts. And, and again, this is a growing list. Uh, but if we go into Instagram bot and we click on that, okay, we open it up and you can see, this is what th these are the instructions that we put inside of the bot inside of open AI. Okay. So we copy this and put it in, in there and I'm not going to read the entire thing. But again, if you have access to the course, you will have access to this as well. Okay. So let's close that out. All right, let's go back. Okay. So this is the Instagram bot. Hit okay. And let's just rename this to, let's just say viral post, a viral edgy post. All right. Hit okay. Boom. Um, so we, let's run the scenario again. All right. So let me say, let me, let's go through another scenario. Let's just say, all right, let's just do something cool. Um, what a clip. All right. So I heard that Gary V is doing something pretty cool right now in the marketing space. Can you just see what's what he has going on? I want to post something about it because I want to do um, some similar marketing for my notary business. All right. All right. So let's just save this and then we can try to run it again. Again, Slack, it may take a few minutes before the Slack um, audio is grabbed from from Slack. And what's cool about this while we wait is you can set this to, to automatic trigger. You can set this to every 15 minutes. It'll check. Um, and what I, what's, what's the default recommended, or you can just say, um, you can set different intervals to be once a day, twice a day, or every 15 minutes. Like, but again, if you're on the road and, and you're recording something and you want it to um, pick up right away, you can leave it as every 15 minutes. Okay. So let's run this again. Uh, let's see what it pulled. Let's see. All right. So it says, all right. So I heard that Gary V is doing something pretty cool right now in the marketing space. Can you just see what he has going on? I want to post something about it because I want to do something similar, do some similar marketing for my connotary. It says connotary business. <laughs> so let's see what, let's see what it goes. Let's see what, where it takes it. Right. So it's perplexity AI search for something, search for the top five most recent facts 
um, insights or updates related to Gary V current marketing activities in the marketing space. Okay. Um, so let's see the viral post and it says, all right, ready to use the emoji, ready to level up your marketing game, dive into the genius behind at Gary V's and it added it. So that's just cool, right? Latest strategies, consistency, storytelling and leveling. I'm sorry, leveraging uh, the future of tech and reshaping how we connect with audiences today. Here's a sneak peek. One, content is king. Two, kudos to uh, VaynerMedia 2022, Web 3.0. Never underestimate the power of well-told stories. Imagine the future of retail. Inspired by reinventing of his approach with one strategy at Gary V. These hashtags. So that's pretty cool, right? So next, what we can do is after we have our post, the next thing we need to do is we need to create an image. So the cool thing, uh, the cool thing with um, open open um, open AI is that it has uh, Dolly, 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 D A L L E, Dolly. All right. Um, so I had Whisper for to, to transcribe, and it has Dolly in to to make images. Um, initially, when Open AI just came out, it was um, um, it was Mid Journey. So I remember using Mid Journey. Uh, it, I think Mid Journey was in like the Discord. I had a Discord I was paying for for Mid Journey to um, send prompts and do pictures. But then OpenAI came up with their own version, and everyone has a version now. Um, Google has a version. Um, I think it's uh, Gemini. Um, and it's Claude. I, I'm, I'm not sure if Claude AI has a version, but a version. But um, only one I've been using right now really is uh, Dolly, right? So let's go to OpenAI and let's go to Dolly. Oops, DAL. Oh, um, let's just say. Generate image. <laughs> Generate image, right? So use doll e, doll dash e, right? So what we want to do here is on an image. Um, the model we're going to use is going to use doll e, doll e three, and then the prompt now is going to be from um, the results that we got from number from the from the post, right? So the results we got from the post, actually. All right, I think I jumped the gun here. We'll keep this here, but I actually jumped the gun. We actually have to prep the image first. So let's do that first. So let's prep the image. So what we can do is um, let's just re let's just rename this. This is the image. But before we do this, we need to prep the image, okay? Because social media platforms, being that the, the AI is so um, rampant right now, social media pl platforms put some restrictions on place because these this technology is amazing. I mean, and it's very powerful. So they don't want to promote anything that's negative, anything that's like anti-Semitic or anything that's like uh, hate, hate, anything like that. So there's red flags that go up that if an image comes out and they, and they know it's from like an open AI type uh, source like Dali, um, that they'll have red flags. So we have to prep the image or prep um, we have to prep the image so that way it doesn't post anything like that, right? Especially like say we like to keep it in context. We're talking about Gary V. Gary V is known for like cursing and 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 and, and flamboyant language. So the, the last thing we want to do is take something that we a research that we found from Gary V. Him of him cursing on stage, and we post that on social media or try to attempt to post it on social media. So we just need to completely avoid that, right? So we need to prep first. So let's. Um, let's add a module, right? And then what we're going to do is we want to do uh, open AI and then we want to create a completion, right? Create a completion, sorry. All right, so this is going to be image prep. What we need to do is on uh, this model, again, we can use chat GPT 3.5 turbo, we get to save some money. Um, as far as message, um, the role, this one is going to be an assistant, right? Um, an assistant is basically what we put in open AI, right? The assistant is like a robot, okay? And we we asking the assistant, we creating a robot. That's what an assistant is, is a robot, okay? So I have some, I have some, um, a prompt here. All right, and let's see here. All right, so let's see. Uh, create a prompt for an image generation AI with the below style guidelines and and a few keywords for the for the from the test. It should say from the text. The text is a transcript. Take the prompt focused on the transcript and incorporate one or a few of the elements, maximum 400 characters. Uh, we say do not include, do not include words. 
and the style let's see here the style we are going to look up the style i pulled the style from another do i include words let's just say here let's just delete this right do not include words we need style and then we need the text all right so what i want to show you here is there's different styles right so again in my course um i have what's called a dolly e dolly three um blueprint let's just open that up real quick uh dolly e blueprint is basically everything you need to know about images so it has um, optimal sizes for different platforms because sometimes you want to specify if depending on what type of image you created with dolly um you want to specify the, the orientation right um and it's this there's different styles that you can use right so there's different style images that you can use and uh what i what i've done is i've created a prompt for each style so this is impressionism and yeah, you can go down to like uh expressionism art nouveau art deco um futurism um let's see um gothic minimalist pop art i mean i'm liking this pop art lately and actually let's use pop art all right and but let me show you the rest uh you can use constructivism but anyway you have access to all of these oh, graffiti is a cool one too graffiti is a cool one um pixel art all right so you have different ones and if when you have when you um have access to the course you'll be able to download this and copy but in this particular case let's use pop art i like pop art it's pretty cool Come on, let me copy it, please. All right, let's copy. That's all we need anyway. All right, let's go back. And next to style, what we want to do is we want to say pop art. So we don't need it to say, let's just, let's close this out to make it easy for you. All right, create an image in a pop art style characterized by bright colors and bold imagery derived from, oops, let's fix that derived from popular. Commercial culture, um, image must, uh, do, 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 do. we already said do not include words in the image. So let's cancel that. And the text, sorry for all the typos guys. I'm moving a little fast here. The text that we're going to use is we're going to use the text from the viral post, right? Actually, no, the text that we are going to use is, no, we're going to use the text from what we transcribed, right? So we'll use the text from what we transcribed. All right, sorry, clean up a little bit here. So, right, all right. So we have a little a prompt that tells you what to do. Minimum, um, the maximum 400 characters, we, we specify not to include any words. Um, the style is gonna be pop art and the text that it's gonna use is the text that we just transcribed. So let's talk about Gary V. Right? Um, cool. Oh, uh, we hit okay. Oh, the max token. Sorry. Whenever you use ChatGPT 3.5, you have to include max token. If we use, if we were to use ChatGPT 4, you don't have to do this, but we have to do this for here. So let's say again, 500, that's even more than enough. Hit okay. And we're gonna say, let's rename this image prep, right? Image prep. And this is the image. Now we have to fix this instead of going to um, the viral post, we need to actually take it from, let's just collapse this from the image prep. And what we need is we need the results from the image prep. All right, uh, let me just make sure I got everything I need here. Yep, the results from the image prep. Cool. All right, so what we can do next is let's, let's run a test, okay? All right, so let's continue. So, all right, so let's run the scenario. All right, let's see if it will generate an image for us. Oops. Oh, okay, so we need to start it again. All right, so let's just do something else. Start recording. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do a fresh recording. This time, let's just talk about something notary related. So, all right, so I'm thinking about becoming, getting certified in RON, and I don't know who the best, what the best place to go to get certified in RON or what the steps is to become a RON notary in New Jersey. Can you just uh, look it up and then 
see if I could post something about it on um, Instagram. All right, so I recorded that audio. Let's see what happens. All right, it may take a few minutes to go. Let's try to run the scenario again. There it is. Already pulled it. Let's see what the text states. Okay, all right. I'm thinking about becoming. Get, I'm thinking about becoming getting. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna run. I don't know the best price to get it started. And run. I said. I said run, but I, mean, I said run. So let's see what came up. Uh, let's see choices, messages, content. After the research, I was unable to find five updates becoming run notary. So it said run notary. So let's just try it one more time. Or actually, let's just go through the process, right? Let's see what let's see what let's see what it comes up with. I said run notary. I probably should have said remote online notary. It would have been a little bit better. Um, it didn't it didn't pick up my uh, my what I was trying to say. So let's see. Create an image for the pop art. Run notary. Format URL. Let's see the data. Go here. This is the URL. Let's see if we can pull it. Uh, let's see if we can pull it. Open link a new tab. It may not work because I, I didn't. I didn't pull the entire link, so it may not work there. But um, we'll push this link over. Um, once once we have once we create the Airtable, we should be able to pull the the URL. Okay. So let's see. All right. So next is Airtable. All right. So with Airtable, Airtable is this uh, an Excel spreadsheet that you can use, um, or a glorified uh, Excel spreadsheet. And I'm going to show you what I what I had here. Okay. So look, it started pulling things that I already had. But um, first thing you want to do is it pulls the, the post information, then it also pulls the URL, and on this column here is where you could approve or deny um, any of the posts. Okay, and once it approves or denies any of the post, then it'll post it on social media. Okay, so let's create it from let's create one from scratch. Let's see if I can create one from scratch. Let's see a new new grid. Let's create new. Oops. Let's just, oh, sorry. Let's do it here. Start from scratch. Okay, table four. So the first thing we need to do on on Airtable is we need to um. Rename this field here. Let's edit the field and we want to call this one. Let's just call it Instagram posts. Instagram post and we want it to be uh, long text, long text. OK, the next thing we need to do here is we need to actually get the URL, right? So we need to do the say uh, IG URL. All right. <clears throat> oh, IG photo URL. Let's say photo URL. It's save, and this is gonna be a URL, right? It's save. Oops. Wait, cancel. Save. All right. So next, we want to have uh, it's a field to the right. So the next thing we're gonna need to do here is we going to be able to approve or deny a post, right? So let's say uh, post. Uh, and the field is going to be, let's see, select single item and add item. We're going to say approve or we could say post, right? Post. And on here, this is a post. We're going to be green and we're going to say um, deny. Oh, sorry. Instead of uh, deny. And then the nine is going to be in red. Okay. Um, it, uh, okay. Oops. Create, sorry. Create field. Assignee, we don't need that. So we could delete this field. Actually, let's edit this field. What we're going to need here is we're going to need um, to change this. We're going to need a, we're going to need to know when the item was created. All right. And this is going to be. Let's see, create date. Okay, it's save. And then we gotta also need to know, let's edit this field when it, when it was modified. And the reason we need to know when the item was modified because it's, we gotta use the modified field to know whether or not um, we should up, we should uh, pull that particular uh, row. Okay, so let's see, what is it? Uh, last modified, last modified. 
go here and it should be a last modified time. Perfect. Hit save. Perfect. All right. So it's table four. We'll just leave it as table four. Okay. All right. So let's go back into our module here and let's do air table. Air table. And with air table, what we want to do with air table is we want to um, create a record, right? We want to create a record. And with air table, again, once you connect to air table for the first time, you want to, um, can, you know, connect your air, ta air table to this. And as far as the base, I have thoughts to post on social and the chart that we're looking for is table four, which we just created, right? All right, so then we, it pulls the fields here. So the field, only tool that we need is the Instagram, Instagram post. Let's just minimize everything here. Um, we'll just go to the left so we can see it. Oops. All right, good. All right, so for Instagram post is the viral post, right? We can just hit results, viral post, and the IG photo URL. Uh, is the photo URL. So if we go to um, image prep image, right? We go to image and then we go to data and then we get the URL right here, right? So this is the photo URL, boom. So we got that, we leave post as is because remember this, the post field is a field that we are gonna uh, manipulate so that way we, we can know when to trigger this with the next step, okay? Hit okay. All right, so let's try to do this again. Let's hit save. And let's, let's try to do another post. All right. So let me open up Slack again and let's create another voice uh, memo, the voice recording. Oops. Sorry, I had the video it's voice. All right. So this is a, I just want to see what's going on in the real estate market as far as is, are we going to see, are we going to see a booming spring market with the real with the with the interest rates being so high. Do you, do we pre predict that anything is going to happen with this? All right. So, all right. I'm just giving random thoughts in my head. Let me just submit that. All right. Let's wait a few minutes or a few seconds, and then we can try it again and see what we'll, see what happens. Okay. All right. So let's try to run it now. Let's see if it pulls anything. Boom. Let's see. All right. So I want to see what's going on with the real estate market. Perfect. I just want to make sure I pull the right thing. Perplexity is doing its thing. All right. Let's see what perplexity pulled up. All right. If we go to choices, some messages, content. All right. Sure. According to the recent Redfin report, the average 30 year fixed mortgage rate in the U.S. surpasses 6% for the first time since 2008 financial crisis this led to the decline in the home buying demand with the redfin home buyer demand index 14 percent down so then it goes on and hit it, it talks about zillow post off from C, um, cbs the post off from realtor.com so pull data back right which is cool um so let's see the viral post viral ig post let's see what it put there uh let's see the content uh text um, value, oh, we can just go to results, right? Go to results and say, hey, high interest rates, the silent shift in spring real estate market, okay? So it's pulling out the spring, it's pulling out data that we, that was pulled from perplexity, right? All right, um, image prep air table. So now let's go to air table and boom, there it is right here. So we can just click it here and we can see the exact post that will be posted on social media. So it's not perfect. Like again, I said, it's, um, you know, I'm seeing a scenario about 80% of the time is perfect, but then we can fine tune it as we go and tell it to remove the aster asterisks, asterisk, if I could say that word correctly. Um, did hashtags and it did, it did, it did pretty well. Um, but besides the asterisks, um, it, it was it's pretty well, right? And let's see if we can pull the image this time. Boom. See, the image is in the type that we were looking for. It's in, it says high interest sold and it did it in the cartoon and it did exactly what we was looking for, right? Cause we was looking for, um, um, where is it? In the, in the Dolly Pooper, we was looking for the pop art and it did exactly what we was looking for the pop art. Oops, and the pop art. Cool, so it, it did exactly what we told it to do, right? All right, cool. All right, so that's in the table. So the next thing we will have to do is part two and i'm going to show you this i'm going to show you this right now and then we'll build it ourselves all right so 
um in the next scenario what we're gonna do is so okay so just to piggyback again we created a voice memo and after we create the voice memo the voice memo will make download the voice memo transcribe the voice memo say hey we're gonna prep for perplexity so perplexity could do his research perplexity did perplexity did the research and then we started creating a viral post based on the research and we, then we prepped for an image based on the quality based on the criteria um, for ig and we we told um we we specify what type of image we want based on the styles on, on dolly styles and then we created the image and then we took all of that information and we threw it onto Airtable. so now all the information is on Airtable and it's waiting for us to tell her what to do so that's the second part here so the second part here was with air table air table now is going to look um on that spreadsheet this is configured for another one but we'll build ours um it's looking for the table it's looking for the last modified date and it's looking for if any it's looking to see if anything is um posted in that field that post field okay uh once it's approved or denied based on a filter then it'll go to it'll post on Instagram. Okay, so let's let's build it. All right. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go on to set our trigger. Whenever we you know whenever we start our scenario, we have to do the trigger, right? So Airtable is our trigger in this particular case. We're doing part two, and what we want to do is we want to watch for a record. Okay. All right. So we're watching for a record. And in this record, we are going to um, use the thoughts on social media um, air table and the table we're going to use is table four, right? That's the table that we configured in the um, on the last step. The trigger field is going to be last modified. Last modified field is going to change based on the time, the time frames, right? And um, the label field is going to be the post right all right and let's hit okay all right so that's that the next thing we're going to do let's just hit uh save and then let's hit run once it shouldn't do anything this is a pull green successful perfect all right so look it pulled it, it pulled the photo it pulled everything all right great so next thing we need to do is instagram instagram for business okay so Instagram for business, um, what we want to do is we want to uh, create a photo, right? Create a photo, a photo. We want to create a photo. All right, create a photo post. All right, again, when you connect uh, Instagram, just like anything else, you want to you want to connect your uh, your Instagram. In this particular case, I'm going to put it on here to seven closers. The photo URL is this URL. We pull it, it pulls here, and it pulled everything from Airtable. The photo URL is what we need. The caption is, uh, should be the post, um, Instagram post. There it is, Instagram post, All right? Um, and that should be good. What we need to do again is we need to filter this. We need to set up a filter based on post and this needs to be not equal i'm sorry equal uh sorry contains uh case insensitive it has to contain uh we want to say contain what did i put here post i believe i said i believe i said post we'll check that right now let's go back into um air table and i believe how i set it up is post right so when it says post it's gonna it, it, it's uh it's gonna post it so let's do this right now Sabrina we're here let's set it to deny and let's see if it posts right so let's go here boom let's go back to here it's save oops let's make sure post I'm gonna say post it there right it has to say post and it's, it's insensitive as far as case it's not case sensitive hit okay let's hit uh arrows i'm filling up yep i fixed that let's hit save good save so if we if we were if we run it now it shouldn't do anything right because we have it set to den deny boom it's deny so it didn't pass this so if we go here post it's not post it's denied so it's not going to go through 
But now let's go back into Airtable. <clears throat> let's set it to post. All right, let's go back and let's hit post. So now let's go, oops, where am I? Sorry, let's go here. And we want um, my uh, 247 Closers uh, Instagram page. If we go here and we hit, um, I'm sorry, we, we go here, we run it. All right, so it's now it's uploaded to Instagram. Boom, it should be on Instagram. So now if we go here and we refresh IG, there it is, boom, it's posted on IG. If you, oh, oh, um, I'm not logged in, but you can see that the post is on IG and we here, it's on our Instagram page. All right, so that's the scenario. This is very powerful. I mean, it, you could do this for Instagram, you could do this for LinkedIn, you could do it for Facebook, you could do it for Twitter. Um, um, TikTok, I don't, I didn't see anything for TikTok on here, but TikTok is mostly videos, but I'm sure we can work that out. But you can see how powerful this is, right? Um, we did it for Instagram, and if I were to do it for all the other social media platforms, we'd be here for two hours. But this gives you a gist of being able to just pick up your phone, say a message. Oops, <laughs> pick up your phone if I can hold it. Oh, I have butterfingers with these phones for some reason, the case, uh, whatever. Um, say something on your phone and basically give a command to say random thoughts babble in your head and random thoughts and the scenario formulates those thoughts put it into a, a post that that's backed by 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 facts now i'm gonna quote facts because we we saw the mistake earlier uh, puts it into a chart that you can go in and then you could uh approve or deny and it'll post it with a, a picture right into your um, Instagram. So um, this is very powerful technology and I hope this helps. Um, this is another one of a series in our AI, AI automation course. And I hope that you found some value here. All right, let's get to work. Now you build your own scenario. Again, I'm gonna put all of these um, blueprints inside of the course. So that way you could just basically upload it and then you can just rock and roll from there, okay? All right, till next time, peace.